Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to a wonderful snowy day in Wyoming. As you can obviously see, the roads are jam-packed with snow, and uh, people are driving like idiots. It's just wonderful. <laughs> um, I actually wanted to start this off by talking about this truck in the snow because I get questions every once in a while how it does, and uh, it does very well. It's hard to... Uh, Obviously, it's hard to demonstrate, really, but I'm in four-wheel drive right now, cruising through town, and uh, I haven't had any issues today whatsoever getting where I need to go. There's been some places really icy. Right now, it's very packed down. I've been through some of the uh, side roads that have a lot of, you know, drifted up snow or, you know, kind of snow pushed out into the road, real thick, slushy type stuff, and uh, I haven't had any issues today, knock on wood, um, but... You know, really does very well for being a totally stock. I don't have anything done with the tires. They're very uh, plain Jane tires, which is the next topic I want to talk about. But uh, it does well, and I'm I'm very happy with it. Uh, obviously, there's some times where uh, you're on an icy patch, it slips. It's got a great analog brake system, traction control, all that. It handles it very well. Um, so it's nice, absolutely. Uh, the next, but following with that, I guess the next thing is the tires I have on this are just as factory stock tires and, uh, they have about 29,000 miles on them now. So they're a little worn down, not, not too bad, but a little bit. And I, every once in a while, uh, I definitely can feel where the tires are, um, probably the, obviously they're losing traction and they're, if they were just a little bit better tire or thicker tread, uh, I would have no problem at all. I can, I can tell that the tires themselves, um, might be causing some of the issues, if any, that I have. And uh, my question for the viewers are, what is the, Jesus, this guy, see, this will be the next topic. This guy is trying to drift corners on one of the major roads. That guy that just flew by. God. Anyways, what are the tires that you would recommend uh, for me that I don't, I wouldn't have to lift my truck or do anything crazy with it. I want to buy tires that um, will fit on this and fit, uh, fit, you know, the wheel well and everything totally fine. Um, you know, so tell me what you guys think, what kind of tires you'd recommend. Absolutely would very much appreciate that. Um, and the other thing I forgot to mention is I just put sandbags in the back of this truck at uh, a local hardware store. They sell 70 pound bags of sand and I bought a few of those to put right in the uh, wheel, right over the wheel well of my truck. See, it's kind of ice right here, slipping a little bit. Analog brake system did great, uh, but that's like solid ice. Um, Anyways, so I put the sandbags back there. I felt the difference immediately. I put them back there a few days ago, and uh, I drove over a couple areas of snow, light snow, and it did very good in two-wheel drive. So that was awesome. Um, re regarding what I just saw, idiot drivers, man, they're everywhere. Like people in little two-wheel drive, front-wheel drive cars just booking it across intersections. I mean, trying to, but getting stuck, causing wrecks. I've seen like three in the last... 24 hours because the snowstorm came in yesterday. It's ridiculous. So frustrating. Uh, anyways, we'll leave that for another time. Uh, those people are just the worst drivers, you know. Like, if you don't have to leave, don't. Um, if you buy a brand new, spanking new car and spend all this money, why are you spending it on a front wheel drive car when you could get like a crossover that's about the same price and be able to actually travel in these conditions? Because if you live in Wyoming, you know you're going to have these. Like, there's never not snow in Wyoming. So uh, anyways, like I said, we'll save that for a later date. But uh, anyways, right now I am actually headed to a dealership uh, to pick up a, or try to and look at and see what the options are for a little bit of a snow uh, toy slash, uh, it's, it's a toy, but definitely something that'll help me uh, in the future make, make snow uh, days a lot easier. So hopefully we'll see what that is in a second. I'm going to go check some stuff out and talk to some people um, and look at the money related side of things. And uh, I'll uh, let you guys know if it goes through and I'll take you along with me. So uh, let's see what happens here. All right, guys. So uh, it turns out everything's good to go. Um, I got to sign a couple papers and I will be uh, picking up this new toy. Uh, I can pick it up today, but it's not going to have everything that I uh, want on it uh, until probably uh, Friday or unfortunately maybe Monday of um of next week. So that's kind of unfortunate that we might not get to uh, exactly see it or pick it up today, but uh, we'll see how that goes here in the next hour or so. Um, anyway, so basically what I purchased is not a vehicle or anything crazy like that. I just went ahead and got a uh, brand new uh, Can-Am four-wheeler. So it is, um, it's 
ugly yellow, um, pretty badass actually looking. I, I never really, I wasn't expecting to buy it today or anything. I just went and looked around and um, I'm good friends with the guys that run and own the dealership here in town and they had a great deal on this, um, this four wheeler. So basically, it's a, it's a 2015 model year. They got it obviously in 2016, um, a little late in the season, but um, they just never got rid of it. it was, it's the last one they have in their inventory and everything. So uh, basically got it for 2,500 bucks under uh, MSRP. And, and that is including a winch and power steering and all that stuff and a plow. And the reason for this whole purchase is for the plow. So I, I don't really need the four-wheeler for fun or anything. That's why I said before it's a toy, but more useful for me than anything because I get so much snow at my house and I'm sick and tired of one shoveling and, uh, and or relying on somebody else to take care of my driveway for me. So I went ahead and bit the bullet and just did this real quick. Uh, I, like I said, I wasn't expecting to do this by any means, but it was just a very good price and uh, I couldn't really turn it down for a brand new four-wheeler. You know, those things are pretty pricey usually and I, um, I only paid like 8,000 bucks with uh, a plow and taxes and fees and all that stuff. So uh, considering that the MSRP I think was like 95 or 9600 without a plow, uh, I'm pretty stoked about it. I, I'm very stoked about it actually. I'm a little peeved off that they don't have the plow and the necessary parts to install it. Uh, at the shop, they have to order that crap, but the, you know, it is what it is. You can't expect that everything to fall into place quite as well as you hope it does. So I think they said, uh, I'm going to go up there talk to them again, look at it to make sure everything I want and uh, get a little bit more in-depth, uh, not review, uh, overview for myself on it because it was kind of an impulse buy. I just went in and saw it, looked at a couple of features and was like, damn, I got to have it. Um, so anyways, I'm hoping probably by early next week I will be able to uh, pick it up and take it out for a spin and everything so I will show you guys uh, the you know the machine and everything next week when I pick it up unfortunately today uh, a little bit of a letdown since you don't get to see it and, and I don't get to go and use it but uh, at the same time very exciting so um, thank you guys so much for watching I, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you're excited uh, we'll get a little bit of a toy go mess around with in the snow and all that stuff so uh, thank you guys so much catch you guys next time take it easy